All right, look, you already know I'm the old coin master. I got to talk about ERC-20 tokens so that we can increase our gains, right? Holding Bitcoin and Ethereum gets a little bit boring sometimes. We want to get those 100x, 200x, 300x, five, okay, maybe not 500x, but great gains. We want to see something that outcompetes Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, you know, I have to talk about solutions to the current problem of Ethereum um, that happens to be an ERC-20 token at the same time. Obviously, it's really expensive to transact on this blockchain. Even though we are making money, in some cases, I have to spend $150 per transaction. So personally, I am investing in protocols that solve the problem. And, and right now we have one. It's called Zilliqa. Zilliqa has been making me a lot of money. So I think it's about time we talk about this protocol and jump into the details. Keep watching. What's going on everybody? Alex back with another cryptocurrency video. And now it's time to talk about layer two solutions to increase transaction speeds on Ethereum because that's where DeFi is at. Right now, I'm trying to buy coins. It cost me $50 to buy a coin. Yeah, I happen to have a little bit more money, so it's worth it for me. But I know people in other worlds and other countries that are trying to invest their $100 that they've been saving up for months and they want to invest it, you know, two, 300 bucks or whatever the case is, they don't want to spend $50 on transaction fees. That's just way too expensive. So if we're going to access these other countries uh, with far less wealth, we need faster transactions and cheaper transactions. Now, we obviously have other layer one blockchains trying to do the same thing like Polkadot, Binance Chain. So in this case, instead of looking at layer one solutions, we're going to look at Ethereum solutions, right? They're using sharding, basically something that's actually going to be implemented into Ethereum. So personally, like I'm looking to these options right now, but when Ethereum 2.0 comes out, guys, I'm going to be real with you. Uh, the layer two solutions are probably not going to be as relevant as they are today. So we still have a lot of time. It looks like Ethereum 2.0 is going to come out in about two years. So it's very worth looking into like things like loopering, um, obviously layer one solutions, but you know, things that currently work with ERC-20 that are increasing the transaction speeds like Zilliqa, et cetera, et cetera. They're going to be very important for at least the next two years. And we're going to make some money off of them. Personally, I've already made some money off of it. So I have to dive into these protocols. We have to talk about these problems. I know people, some people just turn a blind eye to it, right? And they don't want to talk about it ever. Um, but that's not what we do on this channel. If you appreciate that, I'm able to look at both the sides of the equation. I'm a Bitcoin maximalist ERC-20 polka dot Cardano guy, if you appreciate the fact that I can look at everything and make a legitimate decision, do us both a favor, hit that subscribe button as well as the push notification bell. My name's Alex and I am an entrepreneur that talks about cryptocurrency. Sometimes people make money, but obviously this is not financial advice and you shouldn't take it as so. You should back up everything I talk about here with your own research and make your own investment decisions because again, not only is it the smart thing to do so I'm not held liable, but it's also the smart thing to do when it comes to making, you know, decisions. If you follow the sheep, right? If you're just following what everybody else does, if you're waiting for, you know, one of these big YouTubers on cryptocurrency to just drop a video and then buy the coin immediately after, you are literally a sheep and they are selling their bag to you and they're going to dump on you and take your money. Ah. And again, if you appreciate the honest truth, do us both a favor, hit that subscribe button as well as the push notification bell. I've said it twice, so I'm gonna wait here until you do it. Let's wait. I have all day. You're watching me, I'm not watching you. Let's wait till you do it. You hit the subscribe button yet? <laughs> all right, this is obviously about you now, not me. So let's talk about cryptocurrency and chill out with all the shenanigans. I'm jumping into the screen. Please, Ethereum, if you're listening to me right now, can you do us both a favor and fix the transaction speeds and fees, please? They're a huge issue. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I throw my public address in here and we go to, for example, analytics, and we look at specifically uh, my transaction, uh, how much I've been spending, as you can see here, this is not right, but this is right right here. As you can see, I spent $6,929 that I could have right now in my possession that I spent on you, Ethereum. I've already spent money with you. Can you do us both a favor and fix the transaction speeds? Please take the technology from these other companies and make it work for me. 
because I'm spending way too much money. I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Can someone tag Vitalik Buterin or something like that? Let's get this man over here. So we can, I mean, obviously everybody's probably complaining about the same thing. Who am I? Who am I? But let's actually jump into the screen. Let's stop playing around. <laughs> Zilliqa was a layer two. Now they're at their own blockchain. Uh, from my understanding, we leverage on our uh, silicone smooth, speedy and cost effective blockchain platform to catalyze and transform digital infrastructure across all global communities and industries. Great, let's look at it at a glance. We are committed to delivering a scalable, secure platform to developers and enterprises who wish to build decentralized application. Research brought to life. It was born in the National University of Singapore. Okay, we're not gonna go into that too much. The main net has been live since 2019, so they actually have a real working platform. Uh, a lot of these projects are just talking too much. Th theirs is working. Uh, they have a safe by design smart contract. We're going to dive more into that. They are effectively using sharding. They're already using sharding. It's working for them. So again, they have a working product. Obviously, when you have faster transaction speeds, they're eco-friendly, dual mining. Um, thanks to their Zilliqa consensus mechanism, the ecological footprint of mining has since considerably been reduced. Only one minute out of every two to three hours is needed to mine Zill allowing for dual mine other chains at the same time. It's really interesting. Blossoming ecosystem, over 60 projects. Team. They're great. They're great. I've made a lot of money on it. Not custodial staking. They have staking. Um, they're basically where we want Ethereum to be. Now, keep in mind, guys, like, I know I say this and I joke around on the internet, but Ethereum has the network effects and, you know, I'm, that's where I'm going to. I, the network effects has shown with the history of mankind uh, to play the biggest role in adoption of a platform. So even though Ethereum is slow, even though it has issues, it's expensive, uh, I really do believe, and I'm leaning towards that Ethereum is going to be the blockchain of choice for the you know decentralized web. This is where people are going to go, and it, it's just going to be fixed over time. So it's easy for something like Zilliqa to say they they have you know the faster transactions because they don't have the network effects. They have a lot of money, but they don't have even I would say like one tenth worth of the network effects that uh, Ethereum has. That's just the truth. Um, now, I give you guys the truth because I don't get paid by nobody. I believe uh, there are some projects actually paying some YouTubers to talk about. Be careful, be careful. I can say this and be honest with you guys because of that reason, um, but I'm rambling. So, Zilliqa uh, completed a public token sale on Ethereum network between December 2017 and January 2018. Uh, the people received ERC-20 tokens. Zill tokens were converted to native tokens on the main, uh, when the mainnet launches. So actually, they did this recently. Um, so literally, like I had money on Binance that was uh, Zill. It got put to, to their own blockchain. So I actually had to download their wallet. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on their specific wallet so you're not leaving your money on the decentralized exchange, leave a comment below and I'll definitely do that for you. The sale had a hard cap of two, uh, 22 million at the price of 100 whatever. Uh, per ETH. Initially, the project planned to raise 20 million, but it adjusted the cap due to uh, rising ETH prices. Now, this is what I wanted to really read to you guys. 30% was distributed through the public sale. 10% was allocated uh, to a, a capital group. I'm sure they're, uh, they basically invested early. 12% was allocated to Zilliqa Research. 5% founding team. 3% uh, was allocated to various supporting agencies. Um, and then 40% were reserved for future mining rewards. So the point here that's the most important is that 30% was given in the public sale and 40% is uh, going to be mined. So 70% is going out to the public. That is a favorable distribution. Now, really, again, let's, let's look in the words of Mazari. What is Zilliqa? It's a smart contract platform featuring a sharded architecture that aims to address the scalability limitations seen on other blockchains. Its sharded design allows these chains to execute transaction in parallel, thereby increasing the overall capacity of the network. In addition to scalability, Zilliqa provides a smart contract layer to support smart contract crea creation by the way of its NATO programming language, Silica, if that's how you pronounce it. The network reaches a consensus on transactions and the contract uh, executions through a hybrid proof of work, uh, proof of stake, I believe. I'm pretty sure they have staking mechanism in the coming weeks. Yeah, they just they just started staking. This, this is the future. Um, this is a little bit older, but I just wanted to kind of read it from their words. It was founded in 2017 from a group of researchers of the National University of Singapore. And their team is pretty good, actually. I looked into it for myself. Uh, let's look at some of these people. So I'm not gonna try to pronounce this. Uh, let's just jump straight into his LinkedIn. This guy has a lot of experience. He's with Dyson. He has a bachelor's degree in, uh, in university, right? He's a, he was a design engineer intern at Dyson. That, that's big right there. He learned a lot. Um, he's been an engineer for a very long time, guys. And he's been working on Zilliqa for a very long time. He definitely knows what he's doing. 
Uh, so there's some good background. It's not the best, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, and then if we look at the other developer, um, he also has been working on blockchains for a very long time. He was a research assistant. He worked at multiple uh, blockchain companies, three, four, four blockchain companies. It looks like this is a YouTube channel. It looks like three blockchain companies. So they look like they know what they're doing. Um, so yeah, they, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say they're a world-class team. They just have experience, which is usually what's needed uh, to push these projects. Now the security, like they said, we're gonna talk about was pretty good. They've had three audits because this is the most important thing. If you're trying to, you know, increase scalability, they're, they're, when you increase transaction speeds, there's something called the trilemma. Uh, the trilemma, it, it, it's, it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll make a whole video about it, but basically when you, exp, you know, increase speed, it sacrifices certain things like, like, uh, security. So they have, you know, pretty extensive. They have, th uh, three different, there's only two here. Uh, but I believe they have two or three different, um, audits so they're very very uh secure they haven't had any major hacks or anything like that or any issues i've ever seen now obviously there's some recent news that recently came, they just upgraded their protocol which we'll be talking about that um let me just go really quickly into the price and then we'll watch a video we'll watch their marketing because I, I do like to look at people's marketing I, i'm probably the only one that does this but i think it's important for a project to have good marketing guys like i don't know how else to explain it um so against usd uh this is tether right it looks like we're in no man's land. It's just been continuing uh, from the bottom there. We're up about, you know, 4,285%. Guys, I got some around this range, so I'm up a pretty good amount. Uh, if we look at it against BTC though, this is gonna give us a different story and this is the story I'm trying to tell you, okay? So it looks like we've been kind of resisting off this level here. So if you're looking to get some, depending on when you're watching this video, let's look at this level here. This is against BTC. We, we calculate everything in, in Bitcoin. now. As you can see from last altcoin cycle, this thing still has 839% more to go uh, against Bitcoin. And our goal is to increase our Bitcoin, right? Also, one more thing to show you is even if we look at like, like a recent all-time high, uh, we have 66%, 120%. Uh, considering this is like a fairly safe coin. And the reason why I say safe is because let's look at, for example, how high it is on CoinMarketCap. Yeah, it's number 53 on CoinMarketCap. So the question is, is it going to get to the top, you know, 20? Maybe. I do think it's going to appreciate over time. Again, again, this is why I have a bag, right? Um, but it's, it's just been performing well against like a lot of DeFi protocols. And I thought it was worth mentioning, right? It might be too expensive now, but again, you have to analyze that for yourself, right? So the primary purpose of me making this video is because of this new alpha release. Their team released their first alpha version um, version 7.20 of its mainnet uh, client on February 18th. It includes P2P seed network layer revamp. All this is foreign language to me. Uh, this is actually the full uh, update that they're having right now. So it might pump and I wanted to make you guys aware of that. So avoid, this is all developer talk. You guys can look, look into it for yourself. Um, but it looks like they're doing a major upgrade to the protocol because they just launched it on their own blockchain. Um, so it looks like they're upgrading and their team strong and, and they're, you know, they're not stopping. This is the pre-release. So it's dropping the 18th. So I'm giving you guys, you know, a little bit ahead of time this time, right? Depending on what you're watching this video, depending on where I, I launched it. Um, but the gist of Zillica, of what I'm trying to tell you guys, the team has a history of upgrading the protocol. Um, the team has a history of getting things into action. Clearly they have unstoppable domains, which is big in cryptocurrency that's using their platform specifically. Um, and I don't, uh, I won't be surprised if there's more platforms that join, uh, Zillica. Um, and you know, again, I just want to be clear with everybody because this is just the way I, this is my investment thesis. Now it might change in the future. Um, but look, all layer two solutions that increase, increase, uh, transaction speeds can be implemented by Ethereum 2.0 themselves. We don't actually, absolutely need them. So this is like one of these situations where we can make money over the next year or so. Um, and then I would probably get out. And now this is like the same thing with almost all coins. I'm probably going to get out, um, after the bull run or even before the bull run ends, obviously that's what you're supposed to do. Um, but in this case, they specifically <laughs> will be obsolete because again, Ethereum 2.0 is going to introduce sharding. They're going to do half of the things that Zilliqa already does. So to me, this is kind of like a test net, uh, for Ethereum. It's not exactly a test net, but it's like, I mean, we see it all the time. We saw it with Mimblewimble, right? These projects come out with like a great 
um, design a great implementation or algorithm or something like that. And then, you know, the bigger ones just come and eat them up. And this is a reason why I don't invest in like Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV. Guys, Bitcoin has a network effects. They're going to eat them up. Like technically, if you, if, you know, if you didn't know this, uh, they use the same algorithm. So if all the Bitcoin miners wanted to kill Bitcoin SV or Bitcoin Cash, they could simply connect to the network, double spend it because they have way more power than them. Um, and, you know, jump right back on Bitcoin if they wanted to. It would be hard to do that, but they can definitely do that. Um, so... I don't typically invest in things. How do I say this? When you're investing in cryptocurrency, it's not like a game of like stocks. Like if you're coming from a traditional background, it's almost like you're at a statistical disadvantage. You have to unlearn some things. Uh, in cryptocurrency, it's more of like a collectible, right? And Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the, and the number one projects, the, the projects that came out first, those are collectibles, okay? Um, so you have to think of it in that term because remember, this is all open source technology meaning anyone can just go and copy and paste the code and put it wherever they want, um, including in Zilliqa. And, and I know for a fact the Ethereum team is looking at Zilliqa as a test to see if it's going to you know, work or whatever the case is. There are flaws, they're going to fix it, and they're going to get like a, a better revamp version and drop it into Ethereum 2.0. I don't see why they won't do that. They're already implementing sharding. They're already implementing a lot of the features that Zilliqa already has. So again, I just want to be clear with anybody. I don't get paid by these projects, so I can say this. I'm still, I'm using this for as a, as a way to make money. And this is pretty much like 90% of altcoins. I will admit to you guys, 90% of these altcoins are used for me just to make money in the short term. And then I cash it into Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever the case is. Yeah. But other than that, Zilliqa has a great, you know, project. Um, you know, their website's clean. They have the marketing. Let's, let's look at a quick uh, marketing video. From what I'm saying, it's okay. I mean, they're just copy and pasting you know, other uh, people's videos <laughs> into their own. And then they have like this one, I'm not gonna go over. I think it's probably uh, a waste of time for us to watch this video, but the marketing's okay. They're, they're trying, they're doing pretty well. Um, better than most projects and they've been out competing a lot too. So, you know, the way I look at it, it might be a good buy for the short term, make some money, get out before it pops. Uh, that's what I say with all old coins. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with this technology, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one.